twice in one day, the same Orlando neighborhood, the scene of murder and mayhem. Authorities say a gunman opened fire at the same location just hours apart, killing at least three people and leaving two others in critical condition. Authorities arrested 19-year-old Keith Melvin Moses, a teen they say had a troubled past. Yet another tragic shooting, actually a string of shootings in one day, which left three individuals dead. 19-year-old Keith Melvin Moses shot and killed three people in Orlando, Florida yesterday, including a 20-year-old woman, a Spectrum journalist, and also a nine-year-old girl. The next video has more details on how the shootings unfolded. The deadly rampage began near a crime scene where a woman was found shot in her car earlier in the day in the Pine Hills neighborhood. Police say for unknown reasons, the suspect returned to the scene. Deputies located two men who had been shot in or near a vehicle. They are a News 13 reporter and photographer who were on the scene to cover the homicide from this morning. The gunman then allegedly went into a nearby home and shot a mother and her nine-year-old daughter, killing the child. Now, the Spectrum 13 journalist who was killed was a 24-year-old by the name of Dylan Lyons. Jesse Walden was with him and he was also shot, but he survived the gunshot wound. Currently, he is hospitalized and in critical condition. The first shooting occurred at 11 a.m. local time. And then hours later at around 4 p.m. local time, the Spectrum journalists were at the scene in order to report about the shooting. As they were in their news van, uh, Moses approached them and shot them as they were in the vehicle. Immediately after that, he walked into a nearby home and opened fire, shooting a woman and her nine-year-old daughter. The nine-year-old girl is dead uh, and the mother is also hospitalized in critical condition. Police say that he, the only person they think he knew was the uh, initial victim, the 20 year old woman who was shot uh, earlier in the day. Uh, they say that she's an acquaintance of his, but they don't believe that he was familiar with the others. Yeah, so this is the inception of shootings. It's a shooting within a shooting or like those, I don't know how to pronounce them, Matroshka dolls, the Russian dolls where there's a doll within the doll. There's a shooting within a shooting because that's how many shootings we have. And soon there'll be massacres within massacres. Uh, because there's so many massacres, so many mass shootings that we just can't keep up with them. In fact, uh, in the last one we told you, uh, there was a Sandy Hook victim too, and then she was also at Michigan State. Uh, and then we, one of our viewers uh, told us about someone who had been in three mass shootings already, because there's nonstop shootings. So they're trying to determine why he did it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say something a little controversial, who cares? They all have different crazy reasons. Uh, there's one unifying theme, guns. They all have guns, they're all nuts, and they all shoot people for different nutso reasons. But it's the guns, anyone telling you otherwise is 100% lying to you. In this particular case, so he had a reason apparently for what in his crazy sick mind to shoot a 20 year old. Okay, the news crew shows up, maybe he knows they're a news crew, doesn't wanna get caught, you think. No, they're not acting rational. Turns out the mother and the nine year old, he doesn't know them at all. So he's just going around shooting random people. Because in a country of 330 million people, there are plenty of people who have violent mental health issues. If you give them all a gun, they will shoot us. And that's what we've done. I wanna go to the one graphic we have here. So the Orange County Sheriff John Mina said that Moses, quote, has a lengthy criminal history to include gun charges, aggravated battery and assault with a deadly weapon, burglary and grand theft charges. Why isn't he in prison? I don't know. That is like, that's a giant laundry list, okay? So I don't understand what's happening in this country. And we've covered this a thousand times. There's a guy that was in prison until recently in Louisiana because he stole garden clippers. And you know what his sentence was? A life sentence. Insane, yeah, insane. insane. And then on the other hand, you have these guys who are like, "Oh, he butchered three people and decapitated that person and then ran over a little old lady, but he's walking around in the streets. I just don't get it. Uh, here's the only unifying theme of that that our government doesn't give a damn about us all across the country. They're so busy stealing money from, you know, from us that they can't be bothered to protect any of us. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, 
you got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.